Hello everyone, welcome to Spirit Feel Sunday. So today I will be pulling guidance messages for the collective. These messages are timeless, so whenever you happen to click on this video, that is when this message or these messages could be meant for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get into your overall energy collective. Spirit, give me some messages for the collective overall energies. Okay, what do I have? I have family. I have grieving. Let's get another message. I have fertility. And I have empowerment. What stands out to me is the butterfly. Some of you are going to be going through a change, a transition when it comes to your life. And it's like once you go through this transition, this change, that is when you're going to start to experience elevation. That's when you're going to start to see things grow, things prosper in your life. This is going to empower you. I heard like emboldened. This is going to make you bolder. I heard like step out on faith. For someone, you need to step out on faith and trust the process. Trust the direction that spirit is taking you in. Let's get some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about family. Tell me more about family. Okay. Happy family. Family is clarified by happy family. Yes. But you have to walk away from something. It's something or someone you have to let go before you can get to this Ten of Cups. Whether it's a person, whether it's emotions. Thoughts of the past. You have to let go. You have to embrace this transformation. You have to pick your head up and look at the change that is being offered to you. Follow the light. It will never lead you wrong. This light is leading you to your healing. It's leading you to a new beginning. It's leading you to your Ten of Cups for some of you. I heard I'm looking for a miracle. Yes. Is leading you to your miracle. But in order to get to the miracle, you have to transform. You have to accept the change that is being offered. The new life. The new cycle. Tell me about grieving. I have door to spirit in the reverse. And I have financial constraints in the reverse. Yes, some of you are getting ready to experience a major change, a major shift in your finances. And again, I hear like love, like it's like with this financial constraints, whatever you've been pouring out, whatever area in your life, you felt a deficit, a lack. You've been over giving. It's left you feeling depleted. God is getting ready to replace everything that you have lost. This is the end of a rough cycle. This is the end of a season of lack. The end of a season of barely enough. I heard transition. You are transitioning out of a difficult period, a difficult time in your life. But it's like with this door to spirit. Are you willing to accept the change? Are you willing to accept the path that God is leading you to? The door is open, but do you see it? Are you recognizing it? Your fulfillment awaits you. I heard like replenish. Yeah, God is replenishing your life. But do you see it? Do you see the butterfly above you? It's your season. It's your time. Let's get a message for fertility. And number 13, one plus three is four. Balance. God is bringing everything into balance, into harmony. 
God is bringing you into a harmonious period. I have all tied up. And I have third chakra archangel Samuel. Fertility. Some of you felt stuck. Like you can't grow, you can't prevail, you can't get where you want to get. It's like one thing after another. You don't know which direction to turn. Eight of Swords energy. Not understanding that you can set yourself free. That the power is within you. But you're too stuck in your thoughts, your head. Not confident enough. Not sure of yourself. Waiting on your expected end. But don't know if you can actually get it. I'm also getting like realistic and practical. For some of you spirit is saying like. You need to be realistic and practical. When it comes to your dreams. I'm also getting. Write it down and make it plain. For some of you you need to draw. Or write down what it is that you want to accomplish. The things that you want to have in life. I'm getting a vision board. For someone, you need to do a vision board. Or this may have been something you've already started doing. But yes, envision your life. Envision what you want to have. And you will be able to call it in. Let's get a message for empowerment. Rest and rejuvenation. I heard I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. That's what I heard. Once you give yourself away, once you let go, once you free yourself, then that is when you're going to step into your power. That is when you're really going to start to see things change collective. Let's get some more messages. Spirit, give me some more messages for the collective. Burn away the past. Resilience. Your life is too cluttered. Your energy, your space is too cluttered. You're still holding on to a lot of things that you need to let go of. Change. It's time for there to be a change in your life. It's like you're just living in chaos. Mental chaos. Emotional chaos. Spiritual chaos. Physical chaos. But there's chaos. There's clutter, there's debris, there's things that you need to let go of. Declutter your space, declutter your energy. I also heard declutter your time. For some of you, you're giving time to the wrong thing, the wrong person, the wrong situation. Over giving, spending time doing the wrong things. Declutter your time. Make room for this new energy that's trying to come in. Let's get some more messages. Maximus, how can you feed others when your own table is empty exactly? You can't sit at your own table. You can't eat at your own table. Because where's the table when you have all of this around you? You can't see the table. It's time for you to start giving to yourself. It's time for you to start feeding yourself new energy, to start feeding yourself life, to start feeding yourself hope. It's time for you to give to you and stop worrying about other people. Stop worrying about the past. It's just a setup for your setback. Whenever you have people, situations around you that's not for your highest good, that's taking away from you prospering, you evolving, 
you're creating the life that you desire, it's a setback. These people, these situations are creating a setback in your life. And you're allowing it. Because you're not willing to hurt again. you got to move. You're not willing to move. You're not willing to cut it out. You're not willing to clear up the space. Again, I heard time and energy. What are you giving your time to? What are you giving your energy to? Spirit says it's not you. It's not yourself. It's time for you to pour into you. You can't help anyone else until you help yourself. You can't love anyone else until you love yourself. You can't give to anyone else until you give to yourself. Right now, you're empty. You're depleted because you're giving. To things you're not supposed to give to. People you're not supposed to give to. You're feeling overwhelmed and burdened. Perfect acceptance. It's time for you to accept the truth. To accept the truth. And then look. Again. She's covered. Accept the truth. It's too much going on. Too much going on mentally, emotionally. Too much going on in your environment. Some of you don't even recognize the table is there for you to sit at. And eat. And enjoy. Because there's just too much going on around you. Spirit keeps saying declutter, declutter. It's time for you to declutter your life. If you want to call something new in, if you want to call prosperity and financial abundance, if you want to call in this new relationship, you have to declutter. Because it's like, how can you get something new when it doesn't have room, it doesn't have space to grow? It doesn't even have room to enter. The door is blocked. Let's get to, into some more messages. Spirit, give me some more messages for the collective. I have the five of swords in the reverse. have a king of cups. I have a three of swords. Okay. I have the seven of swords in the reverse. I have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. And I have the Six of Cups in the reverse. It's time for you to make peace with your past. That's what I'm getting with this King of Cups and this Three of Swords. It's time for you to make peace with your past collective. Childhood experiences that you've been through. Difficult relationships. It's time for you to make peace. It's time for you to just accept the truth for what it is. And move on. Come out of this five of pentacles energy. This energy of lack. This energy of feeling stuck. Because you, you have to see the door that's there. The new beginning. The new opportunity that God is trying to give you. And he gave you the key. You have the key to this new opportunity. But it's like until you heal. You won't even be able to see the key. You won't even be able to see the change. The growth that is being offered. It's time for you to come out of being stuck. Out of feeling mentally burdened. And walk into your healing. Walk into your peace. Let's get some more messages. Spirit, give me some more messages for the collective. Spirit filled messages.
look at what I have. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. The moment you embrace your peace, the King of Cups, the moment you heal, the moment you move into emotional balance and surrender. Surrender what could have been, should have been, how it could have worked out. Surrender it. That's the moment God can work in your life. That's the moment God can start to line things up for you. That's the moment God can take you out of obscurity and bless you with a new relationship. Bless you with that job, that career that you want. Bless you with better finances. Because you're surrendering, you're allowing. Again, I heard I give myself away. So you can use me. Giving yourself away. Not allowing things to come in and interrupt your life. Interrupt your growth. Interrupt what it is that God has or is trying to give you. Interrupt your peace. I heard go with the flow. Yes, God wants you to just go with the flow. Don't fight against the flow. When you fight against the flow, that's when things become cluttered, chaotic. That creates blockages. But just go with the flow. Allow God to work. Allow God to work. It's a choice that you have, a decision that you have to allow God to work. So that you can come out of this and heal and be free and see things for what it is and move on. At the bottom I have, I choose love no matter what. I choose love. I choose the love of myself, the love of spirit, the love of life. No matter what, no matter what I go through, no matter what my experiences have been in the past, no matter what people have told me, I still choose love. I still choose peace. I still choose me. Let's get one more message. Spirit, give me one more message for the collective. One more message for the collective. It says, trust the weight. Just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. Embrace the uncertainty. When nothing is certain, anything is possible. You are transforming the butterfly. Your life is transforming. Embrace the uncertainty. There's always a period of uncertainty when you're going through a transition because there are things that need to be removed but embrace it, accept it. Anything is possible, do not doubt. Do not doubt that you can have anything. Do not doubt God. The sky is the limit and there is no limit to the sky. So there is no limit to what you can have collective. Trust the weight, trust the process. As you are waiting, work on yourself. Declutter your life, declutter your emotions, declutter your mental space. So that whatever God is trying to give you, you will be fully prepared for it. So collective, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.